Hi student, uh, I hope you are doing uh, preparing for the examination very well. My best wishes. Uh, you just uh, look into this, uh, some few problems that may help you do well in the examinations. This is especially about the digital expert talks and the, um, uh, and the problems in a rigid body in a plane, the motion of rigid body in plane. Uh, if you look into that, uh, a rigid body is a non-deforming. Uh, this is just like that, uh, what you are seeing. Um, and uh, if you apply uh, many forces, uh, common and around that, uh, for example, uh, there are many uh, directions you can apply a force in a plane. You think about a plane. Uh, so, if that is the rigid body, it has the geometrical center, that's the mass center, center of mass. If the various forces act on it, what would have happened? Um, this body uh, will be translated as well as rotated. Depends on the how these forces uh, mean can be resolved. Resolve uh, whether it is um, it's both in a translation as well as in the rotational motion. Uh, this is what you see that uh, in the rigid body, uh, the G na, G is the center of mass center. The F1, F4, or F3 is acting in a plane in the rigid body. You can resolve these forces into a uh, torque about the center of mass and the translation uh, motion in the, uh, of the center of mass. Uh, that is M into A, A is the acceleration uh, of the center of mass and H is the rate of change of angular uh, momentum about G. Uh, so that is nothing but a torque. So the angular momentum of the rigid body about the mass centers. If you rate of change of that, that will be a torque. Um, uh, uh, this uh, specifically, uh, this kind of uh, forces you can resolve uh, in the x direction and y direction, uh, and the moment uh, you can write as a, a moment of inertia uh, and this angular acceleration. Um, yeah, some of the forces in FFX related to mass in the acceleration in the x direction of the center of mass and the y direction, similarly in the y direction, mass and acceleration in the y direction. So, uh, the, the that's what we call it as a de Alembert's principle. Um, so, any rigid body motion uh, in a plane, uh, in a plane, uh, plane motion of the rigid body, uh, so you can resolve into a translation as a force in the x and y direction and the moment uh, you can resolve into i into alpha, that would be in the, uh, out of the plane the direction. So, let us look into the uh, symbol problem. Uh, this is the equation of motion of the, uh, for a rigid body. Uh, when the forward speed of a truck as shown was at 30 feet uh, per second, um, so the truck moves at 30 feet per second. And the, when the brakes are, are suddenly applied, uh, causing all the four wheels uh, to stop rotating. So, uh, you are applying a brake, the wheels are so what would have happened? Uh, the truck probably a skid. Uh, it's getting, I mean, uh, because of that sudden break. So when, when it stops, there is a still uh, a momentum which that would cause a skidding, rate of change of momentum. Okay. So so the skid, the truck is skidded to rest at 20 feet. Uh, so it, yeah, after the brake applied, it, uh, it it just is skidding to the 20 feet. Uh, so, the question here is uh, determine the magnitude of the normal reaction and the friction force at each wheel as the truck skidded to rest. So, here yeah, the friction is involved, the kinetic friction is involved in, and there is a normal force. Uh, so, what you have to do is there are four wheels uh, because it is a, a plane um, uh, in a plane motion of the rigid body in a plane. So, you can consider a, a two wheel system uh, and finally you can divide that force because it's a symmetrical nature where g is the center of uh, mass uh, center of gravity whatever uh, so here uh, because the gravity is the acts so now what you have to you have to resolve this in the forces uh, and uh, moment about a uh, if you take that equation equilibrium equation you can easily find out before that you can you supposed to apply equation of motion to find out uh, what is the acceleration in the x-axis? Uh, so, because the, uh, as soon as you play a break, there is a deceleration. Uh, so it has to uh, travel uh, 20 feet to uh, come to the rest. 
So that you take into the account using the uh, you know, uh, u square, initial speed, and the v square, the 2ax. Uh, that is the uh, kind of equation of motion you're supposed to use. So find out what is the ax. Um, so v naught we know that 30 feet per second, and uh, v square is equal to u naught square uh, plus 2ax. You know that it's come to register, so that the final velocity is zero. So you substitute that, you find out what is the a. A is the deceleration. It is a minus. 22.5 feet per second square. So now you you know that there is the acceleration, deceleration which is acting, there is a velocity and uh, what is the normal reaction which is the just a weight of the uh, um, act at the uh, center of gravity uh, at G. So you can easily find out what is the, uh, it is a mass into uh, G, acceleration due to gravity that is given. So you can now you think about you resolve in y direction, x direction and uh, if you look into that, uh, the normal reaction at A, normal reaction at B minus W is that because if you look into this uh, directional, the right hand row uh, direction, uh, which we are uh, mean, um, doing all the problem. Uh, so counterclockwise uh, moment is positive, clockwise moment is negative, the force uh, upward is positive, downward is negative, right hand side is positive, left hand side is negative, out of the board is, uh, you know, uh, positive into the uh, no plane is the negative, so something like that. So you have to take the sense of direction. Here it is mentioned. So friction force F A plus F B because which is act against the uh, I mean the motion. Uh, so you take a negative signs. Similarly, the, this is a deceleration M into A. So you finally you will get uh, F A plus F B is equal to mu K and N A plus N B. This is comes from your um, uh, friction, uh, kinetic friction uh, uh, constraint equations. So that's equal to mu k into w weight of the vehicle. So from that you can find out, you know that uh, oscillation due to gravity in uh, feet per second square is 32.2. So substitute that you will get a mu k is equal to 0.699. So now uh, there is a some parameters uh, which is still we need to uh, undertake which is we can't uh, I mean still there are uh, some unknowns we, 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 we need to estimate especially NB what is the NB in terms of W. So now if you take the moment at A uh, so uh, so you will get uh, know that what is the NB in terms of W so FB is equal to mu k and the NB so finally you will get FB is equal to 0.454 W that is the weight of the weight of that uh, friction force which is acting in the point B. Uh, similarly, if you Fy, if you take that Na, you will get it, uh, and the Fa is equal to uh, mu k and the Na. <coughs> so, uh, so the final it is a point two four five. So in each will, if you look into that, in each will, uh, you have to divide it by two. So you will get uh, what is the front uh, wheel and the rear wheel. What is that in terms of W? Uh, because W, which is uh, is the weight of the vehicle, which is not given, but you, uh, you can still assume um, that it is a known parameter of W. Uh, so this is how you have to, so le let me again uh, emphasize that uh, as soon as you have the problem you have to draw a free body diagram and resolve these forces in the x and y direction and take the moment if there is an unknown component from that you can, you can converge very quickly to that uh, what is uh, this needed and that. So now we see the second case. Uh, the second problem, uh, car shown in uh, this figure has a mass of 2000 uh, kilogram or 2m capital Mg. The center of mass at G determined the acceleration uh, if the uh, rear diving wheels are always uh, slipping, uh, whereas the front wheels are free to rotate. Uh, so, uh, the condition, the constraint here is uh, if the front wheels are free to rotate, means there is no friction. Um, the rear wheels are slipping means there is a friction. Neglect the mass of the wheels. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the wheels and the road is given here. So you know that. So now what you have to do immediately, uh, take this dimension and apply the load condition and uh, draw the free body diagram to fix your uh, coordinate system uh, as it is given. So these are the 2000 into 9.82. Newton, uh, these are the parameters. So now you resolve that FB, uh, you know, yeah, FA is not there. Uh, as I said, that there is a free to rotate mean reason the front wheel is a zero friction. So FA is equal to zero. 
but there is a still it's a na uh, the reaction force na nb ag uh, there are three unknowns are there so you have to take the moment at uh, either g or any one of these uh, point a or b uh, to solve this uh, so let, let us uh, again uh, we just to put into the practice that what is f of x mass and acceleration of the vessel what is f of y mass and uh, acceleration the y direction so if we substitute that uh, point 25 nb is equal to that is the in x direction the friction force is equal to uh, 2000 into ag uh, similarly f y is equal to the substitute na plus nb minus 2000 so it's so you know that na and b nb in terms of 2000 into ag so uh, if you solve that you will find out uh, the moment at g you can take a moment at a or moment at g so it depends on moment at uh, no, uh, b also you can take uh, so whether it is quickly converges so a moment at g is given by n a in the normal reaction is 1.25 m and uh, minus 0.25 uh, n b into 0.3 m plus n b into 0.3 so the sign conversion basically it's a clockwise negative anti clockwise positive uh, so based on that you have to put finally you are able to ag what is the ag is 1.5 meter per second square that is the acceleration in the uh, x direction uh, but here it is a uh, kind of deceleration deceleration or, or uh, if it is a past this quantity is past it's going the vehicle is in this direction so you can take that so n is equal to um, 6.88 kn n b is equal to 1 uh, is kilo newton basically kn is a kilo newton so this is how as i said that you can take it to ma also to find out that uh, so you will converge the same result uh, as i said that so uh, so you you have to be little uh, uh, care about uh, about the direction sense of direction uh, when you take so this are the quantity na nb and uh, uh, acceleration at g uh, that's what uh, you are uh, so you can solve in a, uh, but you have to consider that uh, resolve that forces in the x and y direction of the center of mass and uh, and rotation about the center of uh, center of mass or center of gravity so that's how it is converged uh, and uh, either you can take it as a a or a, a and b or a g depends on now uh, so but uh, this equation is, uh, is going to be if you are taking it as g that uh, some of the rotation rotation is not and uh, but g is zero that's what it is given here Uh, yeah, some of the uh, because the vehicle is not rotating about the center of mass, so that, that's uh, zero. That's how you have to solve it. Uh, similarly, the third problem I'm talking about is the motorcycle shown in a figure has a mass of 125 kg and a center of mass uh, at G1. And there are two center of mass. One is the vehicle center of mass, and the G2 is the uh, you know uh, the, the rider, uh, the, the driver. Uh, the, a center of mass uh, so you have uh, two different center of mass and this position vectors are given a and b and now also you have to apply um, you know normal reaction and the weight some of the weight and uh, both the center of mass uh, so yeah, so that is towards the you know in the negative direction uh, so if you see that um the wheelie the term wheelie that's why you have to read very carefully the wheelie the term wheelie is a so it is rising is the front wheel so the friction at the front wheel is a zero neglect the mass of the wheels and assume that the front wheel is free to roll so there is no friction uh, that's what it is emphasize that um so let us draw the free body diagram and apply the forces uh and uh, resolve the forces so we have to find out the nb and na is any any is a free will uh, is uh, if you assume that it's a free will uh, is above the ground then there is no normal reaction so the na is zero so nb fp ag uh, we have to find out there are three unknowns so similarly resolve that in the ma ag in the x direction ma ag in the y direction Uh, you now you have to take because a does not have contact with us so you have to take a moment at b because you are raising the bike up so the moment comes at b so you resolve that uh, apply that uh, 75 kg in the ag uh, plus 25 kg in the ag is the fp nb is equal to minus 73.5 minus uh, this much is equal to 0 if you take this equation f is equations 
So from that you can easily solve that e g is equal to 8 point. Uh, this mass, uh, the acceleration at the center of the mass uh, center of, uh, location is 8.95 meter per second. N v is equal to 1962. Uh, 1962 Newton and F equal to 1090 Newton. Uh, so, dear friends, uh, so uh, solving the problem is uh, you have to systematically approach and uh, solve that uh, each and every time, uh, which is uh, not known. And there are known parameters given. Do it carefully. Um, and nothing to be worried about. Uh, but you have to, to uh, systematically approach that. And uh, so my best wishes uh, and do well in the examination. Uh, follow the, the simple professional procedure. As an engineer, you have to systematically solve this uh, problem. And uh, it has to be a uh, neat presentation and there should not be any scribbling and uh, draw the free body diagram and uh, fix your coordinates and uh, direction, sense of direction, height and roll you can uh, take it as and then uh, resolve the forces, take a moment if there is any unknown parameters are coming and you, you can easily solve that. Um, uh, thank you, uh, I wish you all the best. Uh,